Hey everyone, it's me here at Kimball. I'm out here in my mini bed garden and I just want to show you a few things. I've tried something new this year that I'm going to show you, but first here's some Chinese cabbage, four cabbages to a mini bed. I also plant four uh, peppers to a mini bed and these have been not looking so good, but as of late they are looking a whole lot better and uh, they'll fill that bed based on past experience. Now over here I've got some summer carrots. I will soon be planting my Bolero fall carrots, but these are some uh, carrots that I planted earlier. Over here, we have kale, and I want you to take note of these PVC hoops. I've shown this before, and I'm gonna show you a, a different hoop idea here shortly. But the, the, uh, the, the netting here, this netting, which I've, uh, like I said, I've, I've shown in previous videos is, a, a great product. Love it. Absolutely love it. It's kind of expensive, but it lasts and it keeps uh, insects all the way down to flea beetle size out of the mini bed. I want to show you that my cabbages, which typically get uh, insect infestation uh, from those white butterflies, looking perfect down there or as close to perfect as you can get. That's a a green cabbage, and here's a red cabbage. Same thing, looking really good. Now, that, that doesn't show up very well. Now, here's the new idea, and what you're looking at here is a fiberglass, um, a, a length of fiberglass. I'm gonna pull this, this off so you can see. See this fiberglass pole? It's five foot long, 60 inches. I bought it from a kite-making supply place, and I like this better much better than the hoops I have. The hoops work, they work fine, but you gotta figure out how to anchor them. You know, you gotta stick a, a metal rod in the ground and put the, put the PVC pipe over it. But with these, these five foot lengths, you just stick them into the ground, okay? And I'll put a link to the kite making supply place where I got those. This is, uh, what is this here? There's my tag, June 18th. Oh, it's my Zephyr squash. Yeah, I will prune one of those away here very shortly. And when these start to blossom, I will pull the uh, netting away, all right? Now those squashes, you know, they get the black, and, uh, the cucumber beetles. But if you get them off to a good start, they, uh, they'll take, the cucumber beetles will come, but they won't do as much damage. Okay, and right here, I've got uh, my celery mini bed. Always plant a celery mini bed. We've got a tomato plant in the cage, doing real well there. I got my parsley, which I seeded in the spring, very early in the spring. I put five hills of that in, three of them are doing fine. That bed will be filled to overflowing. Now, right here, I have one lettuce plant. A flashy trout back or something like that. It's kind of a speckled lettuce. I like this lettuce. It's a romaine and I'm growing a single romaine lettuce there. I actually planted a whole flat, you know, like 12 uh, lettuce uh, uh, plants. I wanted to transplant them and only one grew. So that was discouraging, but I decided, you know what? I'm gonna plant that one survivor in the middle of a mini bed and I'm gonna let that go to seed and I'm gonna collect the seed. I'll have seed for several years. I've done that before, but that's the purpose of that mini bed and that little lettuce plant. Here I've got some beets, beautiful beet beds right here. Beet beds, and I've got beds here that I need to plant. I will be planting soon, but yeah, the beets are up. We've got beet greens, I love beet greens, steamed beet greens, and young beets, tender beets. Right down through here, you can see lots of um, fiberglass hoops with the fabric over them. And what I did was I planted one, two, three, four, five, six different cucumbers in each of these, and I'm gonna show you something. I planted them all on the same day. You can see that one in there, all right? And you can see this one planted the same day, a little bit bigger. And of course, again, the idea is get these off to a good start. There's a, the, the other variety. And when they start to blossom, we take the netting off and they will have uh, been established very nicely. You can see that one. Now look at this, planted the same day. Look at this thing. The, I mean, wow. I gotta check out what kind this is. So there's 
the plant with the netting off, and you can see these these uh, fiberglass um, poles. Now, I should tell you, they're quite expensive. I think I paid, with shipping, about $8 each for these flexible fiberglass lengths. And um, that's a lot of money, but hey, I don't fish, I don't golf. Corinto F1 Cuke from Johnny's. Well, that's a superstar right there. And it's about to start blossoming. Right here, we're gonna get, I think that's, we're gonna get a blossom there. You can see it's gonna spread well beyond the bed, and that's, a, that's good. It can spread into the walkways. It's got room to do that. So yeah, I'm liking that. And then here is another cucumber. It's uh, actually not doing too bad compared to some of those first ones, but it's not the superstar that this Corinto is. Now here you can see my rye mini beds. I got three of them. The rains that we've had have uh, kind of knocked it down, but I'm waiting for that to get to the point where I can harvest the seed. If you watch my videos, you know I love rye. You know that I uh, use it for a mulch. You can see it right there in a mini bed, which I haven't planted anything to, but most of those beds I've shown have rye as a mulch. Now, as a little update, I did a video about these uh, raspberries, and you can see that they're coming up, these raspberries that I planted, and they look good, and I've got some squashes down through there. Now, one more thing. This is, uh, I'll, put, I'll find the name and I'll put it on the, uh, on the screen, but this is a purple bean that when you cook it, it turns green and it tastes just fine. These pole beans, you can see them shooting, starting to shoot right up here. I, I started and transplanted these because that's what I have to do to get any bean to grow in my garden. And um, yeah, this trellis here, this T-post trellis, I've got the, the uh, whiz-bang Y holders up there holding a uh, length of conduit. These this, this trellis will get full, full of these wonderful beans. And these beans are the best growing beans that I have found for my garden, my soil. Here we've got my raspberry bushes, and we're gonna, well, I, I actually see a raspberry. Here we've got this one. Yeah, here, they're starting to ripen. See that one there, right there? I, I may, that's not really ready. Oh, I wanted to taste that. I'm not doing a lot of, um, uh, mini bed gardening videos. I'm focusing more on the carpentry and how-to videos along those lines because that's what people watch more of. But um, but mini bed gardening is still it's still valid. It's still a big part of my life here. And um, oh look, maybe maybe that one's ready. I think so. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> 